Hello there, today we're gonna to be working on a 2016 Isuzu NRR and it needs its fuel filters changed. We're gonna change both the uh, primary and the secondary filter and uh, Isuzu recommends do that every 15,000 miles. Uh, most dealers do that at the same interval as the oil change would be 10,000 miles. But if you're doing your own service, you can extend that and go all the way to 15,000 miles. So hopefully you find this video helpful. All right, first step here, we have to disconnect this uh, harness. Just get your screwdriver in there, lift the tab, and that will disconnect this harness. Next step here, we gotta drain the fuel filter. Plastic drain valve, you can open that. And I'll start draining your fuel out. While that's draining, I'm just going to go ahead and loosen this um, filter retention nut. All right, I'm gonna show you how to lift the cab. Pull this lever right here, and go up, and then there's an airlock. Pull this towards you and lift up. All right, this right here is the secondary filter that's on the engine, and uh, you're gonna to need to release this uh, nut on the bottom to let the fuel drain out, and uh, once it's drained out, then you can release uh, the secondary nut that holds on the canister. So we got a new filter here, just happened to be using uh, Wix, it's the part number you're going to need. Alright, we've got the filter here full with fuel, just going to take a little of the fuel, make sure you get this o-ring on top a little wet, helps, uh, helps seal. <clears throat> and the reason why you want this filter full, uh, same thing like when you do your oil change, you want it charged with the fluid that's going to flow through it. In this case, for the fuel system, the engine won't start unless it gets a prime. And you're going to have to prime the engine. So, if you have this filter charged with fuel to start with, you'll spend less time priming your engine and it'll just be ready to go. So one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to put these on too tight, otherwise you might not get it off. So I do have a strap wrench here, but I'm just using it to go just a little bit tighter than what I can do with my bare hands. Um, you'll know if you're too loose if your filter is leaking after this job is done. Alright, that, that's tight. Alright. Go ahead and make sure the sensor nut is is tight. Make sure the strain valve is closed. And then plug it. Alright, now we're going to do the uh, secondary filter that's up to the engine. You need to start with a 17 millimeter wrench. I already got a drain pan underneath try and catch uh, the you release that drain plug then go get yourself a 22 millimeter wrench all right we've got the secondary filter off ready to replace that here's the part number if you're going to use a wix 
So go ahead and pull the filter out of the canister. And push out. There we go. Push out this piece. Notice the orientation of the spring that's at the bottom with this cup facing up towards the top of the filter. You also want to just go dump this out, clean any sediment in there. That looks nice and clean. Now your new filter is going to come with a bunch of gaskets. And uh, I recommend you replace all of them. They're free. And you don't want to do this whole job and find out that you have a leak at the end of it. Go ahead and take a pick and work that one out. Okay, that looks good. There's a new O-ring for the drain plug. Slide that on. And uh, this stem here that the filter sits on has two O-rings. One just sits at the base of this stem, and the other one actually has a little groove it sits in. All right. Don't forget your spring. Slide your filter on. Now this one, as much as you wish you could try and fill it uh, with fuel first, it's almost impossible. You won't get a seal here until you get this all assembled. So this one actually is going to go on dry and we'll charge it using a pneumatic bleeder. This is always a pain to bust the thread on. Having to kind of compress the spring. All right, time to start priming the fuel system. There is a bleeder clap here, just remove that. And uh, got a 10 millimeter wrench on the screw. Go ahead and open that. Okay, that's open. Got just a little pneumatic bleeder here from Harbor Freight. Just gonna run this until I start seeing fuel come through this line. 
then I'll know that this filter is charged. All right, now we're gonna repeat that same process up here. Got the cap off. This one usually takes a while because you've got to suck it all through the fuel line and then fill that whole canister before you're going to start getting fuel out of that bleeder. Goes. Now we're getting fuel out of that bleeder. That means that whole canister is full. All right, to drop your cab, there's a release lever right here. You might need to lift up a little bit just to relieve the tension. And make sure, make sure you bring this all the way down to a full lock position. All right, if we did our job right, this thing should start with, uh, it might crank for a while, but it should start fairly normally. Go ahead and just let the engine idle, let that fuel system uh, fill. I think. I think the Zuzu manual actually has you run it with your foot on the pedal for a few minutes. Um, you can do that if you feel like you need to. Um, otherwise, this, uh, this job is done. So one more thing you're going to want to do is just go and reset the uh, fuel filter light. So press, press this stem in here. So you get to this screen, then twist it. And twist it till you get the fuel filter, then hold it in. That's the Isuzu recommended uh, interval. Okay, I couldn't remember what to do there. Press and hold that. Eventually, once it turns green and says 15,000 miles, it'll start counting down from 15,000 miles, and uh, then it'll remind you when you need to change your fuel filter again. All right, thank you.